so they can think that a this a uh, second wife who is getting married yes. because of how I'm stressed. Yes. What? That's crazy. It's really crazy. Guys, do you know that song in TikTok that goes, Tenge, tenge, turu, tenge, tenge, turu, tenge, tenge. <laughs> like with big eyes. Tenge, 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 tenge. And then I do. What? What's the work of the man? The man? Yes. <laughs> the grandmother came. <laughs> Did you know that a newly married Ugandan lady is usually dressed in a gomesi and this is how gomesi is dressed up and this is how he looks? Stay tuned to watch the entire video and know what happens. It's good. Woo. Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm coming straight out of Uganda. If you're new to my channel, my name is Makena J. Consider subscribing if you haven't. And why go to Uganda and not wear Gomez? Like Gomez is the outfit, official outfit of Uganda. And this is how it looks. I look like a fairy tale look. I look like a fairy tale So this is the Ugandan traditional outfit for the women. This is how it looks like. And I want to show you the Ugandan village life, guys, so that you can see how it looks. And Uganda is such a beautiful country. It's really beautiful. Tell me what you know Uganda with. And I'm coming straight out of a Ugandan village home. And guys, this is the first house that you, you see when you get into this country. This is um, a kitchen. This is how it looks like. I don't know if it will be visible from inside. <laughs> oh. Is it visible? Oh, it's so dark. But guys, there's a kitchen. There's somewhere to place the utensils. Here, let me, let me try with the torch. This is where they... Is it visible? Guys, this is where they place the utensils, as you can see. And they also place firewood here. And they place some utensils here. As you can see, more utensils here. That is what they do. Then they cook from a three-legged... Is it visible? They cook from a three-legged... Let me then put the firewood on this. They cook this is three leg one two three and there's a kitchen chicken here that is uh, incubating some eggs so don't try don't try this at home if you touch it it can really do you some harm so guys let's go outside it's really dark here oh look i'm very tall i'm very tall guys so this um this simply play 
clay mixed with some water and some the ugandan people they don't use cow dung to make their houses they the huts they simply use clay and water and then they they thatch the house with very special grass yeah they use a grass and they're very cute very very nice so guys as you can see the house is dashed with grass and also they use the cow dung but not on the walls they use the cow dung on the floor just that come with me let me show you the other this is the compact guys and they wash their utensils from here as you can see they wash the utensils from here then once they wash them they put their utensils here wow just look i love it and guys some houses i'm not gonna show you this is the main house where the people sleep the family sleep with the children this is where the husband the children and the wife this is where they sleep so it's a private house i just can't go in and as you can see it's made the same way this grass dust it's made with clay clay and water just that so this is the main house come with me near the main house they have a shed oh my god it's so beautiful as you can see it's really beautiful this is a shed then they put amkeka we call it amkeka what's the name of amkeka that mattress a uh, mat mat guys they put a grass mat here and they eat from here they invite visitors from here if you come they have visitors they will have this kind of seat these ones and they will put a mkeka some will sit down here the others will sit here and they will have a conversation drink tea eat matoken now come to the guest house oh my god <laughs> this is the guest house guys the moment we got here this is where we were invited there is nothing much here but i want to show you this pot of water in the guest house they keep this pot it's a clay pot and it has some water very cold water it's really you you feel it you you hear it so they keep water here it keeps the water cold it's like an african fridge so it's really convenient yeah so guys this is the, the guest house if you come to this home you won't sleep in the kitchen you won't sleep in the main house they will make you sleep here isn't that beautiful so cut, cut. so guys this is a beautiful compound of the ugandan people it's so beautiful and guys if you didn't know it's a taboo in ugandan culture to cook from the middle like these are three legged stones from here. Let me show you. These are three legged stone. It would be a taboo to put the three legged stone here. Do you know why? What are they doing? They are baby. Oh, they are baking. Oh my god. <laughs> they are having a time of their life. Anyways, guys, it's a taboo to cook from the middle because. When they cook from the middle, it's when someone has died. If I cook from here, the neighbors will start coming and they'll be asking me, what's wrong, what's going on? So it's a taboo to put there, to cook from anywhere in the middle here. So I learned that. Come, let me show you where they take a bath from. It's a simple bathroom. Mom, Kali, Sawa, Jinali, Mugomas. <laughs> this is a Ugandan outdoor bathroom. As you can see, it's made from bricks. There is some swell, right? Yeah. There is some swell. Uh, this is kind of cemented. And you can see there's somewhere to put your soap and all that. Then you take a bath from here. There's nothing to cover you from the people. But when you're taking a shower, someone will just see you. Like, just look at me. Someone will see there's someone inside the bedroom and they won't dare come this way. That's how even it happens in rivers when people are taking bath in the river. There are some secluded places that people are not supposed to go. So once you see people taking a bath in the river, you don't cross that way. Let me show you how a Ugandan washroom or toilet looks like. Come with me, guys. Yeah, 
Guys, Ugandan people are mostly growers. Hello! This is a toilet, guys. Let me see how it looks. I want to see that. <laughs> Should I pause it? <laughs> no, just I'm not going to show you. Oh, okay. Anyways, guys, guys, this is a toilet that you'll find in Ugandan villages. It's made from clay, dust, and it's a pit latrine. And once you come out of the toilet, of course, they observe cleanliness and you come and wash your hands from here. You see that? There's a. Um, I so? think here they put soap. Yeah, you step there and water comes from that tube. If it is there, but it's not there. Water is finished. But if it is there, that's how they do it. So guys, when you want, you it's a technology, traditional technology. Let me show you. You do like this. Don't use force. Oh, actually, water is not there, but if it is there, you cannot use that much force. Oh, wow. It will just come automatically. Should we bring water? <laughs> no, 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 no. They will just understand. So, okay. guys, these are traditional. Uh, there's no water right now. But you step it like this, then water will just come and you you will wash your hands. Hey, this is very creative, honestly. So, guys, I want to show you some Ugandan village life. And come, let's sweep the compound. Come with me, guys. They don't pull the, those clothes. They don't like you just hold like this, but you are not supposed to open and we we'll see your thighs and then like you've done this. So I'm supposed to do no, you're but supposed to hold here like this. Like this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but you're not supposed to open it, eh? And people see your legs and the thighs. Hey, if they see my legs, what will happen? Ah, that's not how it, uh, you have to respect the clothes. <laughs> hey, guys, let's sit the comfort now. And then be like, like, even with the compound food. And the compound is very sweepable. <laughs> I even feel like sweeping on your feet. You can't do it. We have time. We have time. Guys, as you can see, this is a broom that the Ugandan people used to sweep the compound. This look like some weed, some weed. They just uproot it, then tie it together, like that. The compound is so bad. It is because the, the wind has brought all those leaves, but by the time we came here, it was clean. But the wind. Oh, so you will manage it. If you marry a Ugandan guy, you will manage you know i don't want to get married to a ugandan girl <laughs> mm. i said if <laughs> all this work you want you want, lot. you want a mzungu eh? <laughs> no i don't want a mzungu i want an african man <laughs> who is <laughs> open-minded like who is ready to make things work for us not just hey do we know this work you want like one, a maid <laughs> you want a, you want one with the money me, yeah, I will have my own mind, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
So they do all this work. Yeah, you have to. Okay, so sweeping the compound is very easy. That is something I do. But what's the work of the man? The man? Yes. Because I'm expected also to go to the chamber. What's the work of the man? Should I pause this one first? <laughs> no, don't pause it. <laughs> just, just be honest with us. What's the work of the man? But that one I cannot talk on. Like. That one I'll explain when the, I'm The man is just to procreate and bring some unga. And say, <laughs> <laughs> but the unga is coming from the chamber where I'm working. Like the man does very many things. He's the one who takes care of the family. Oh no, it's the woman who takes care of the family. No, the woman is just there to fulfill what the man brings. Like to put things in, in action. Anyway, let's just say we are supposed to be in each other. Like what? Like what? Like you want to mean even in the modern days, if I get married, I will do all this. In, in the modern days? Yeah. Like uh, what do you mean by modern days? Go to the shamba, spend the entire day there. If you marry in the village, you can you will do it. <laughs> if you get <laughs> married in the village. This is village life. Cause if you don't know, if you don't do it, yes. you will not eat. Cause you will not come to my place. That you know, you give me some food. I don't have food at my place yet. You don't want to go in the garden. Yeah. Your fellows have gone, and for you, you remain there that you cannot go. And the end of the day, you come crying for food, begging food from them. Yes. You can see I've swept the campus. That's the work of the a newly married woman in Ugandan culture. Guys, be honest with me. Be honest. How do I look? Someone say it. <laughs> it's giving grandma vibes. A, um, a sassy grandma, right? Woo! I look good. I love it, guys. You can see it has these things that look like they're floating. And let me tell you, this is not worn by just anyone. This is worn by newly, like someone who is married. Either you get married today, you will have to wear this so that people can recognize you. But for people, are not, for girls who are not married, they don't have to wear gomesi. So this is called gomesi. Let me show you um, what else the Ugandan village girls they do they wash utensils guys as you but you can see they are dressed like this with the gomesi right so they think i'm married here yeah it can come in their mind so they can think that i've this is a second wife who is getting married yes. because of how I'm stressed. Yes. What? That's crazy. It's really crazy. Guys, do you know that song in TikTok that goes Tenge Tenge Duru Tenge Tenge Duru Tenge Tenge <laughs> Like with big eyes. Tenge 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 <laughs> This one is for TikTok. No, no, cut. Guys, as you can see, we have some dirty utensils and we need to wash them. Mm -mm. Even this one is warning, the battery is warning. <laughs> we will have to do everything. So, what should I do? Should I save or got it? Cancel it. Okay. Okay. 
Clear colors to talk about Zuri for me. You know, 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 you So guys, we will first wash the utensils, then rinse them once, once we are done. Can you be shooting with different angles? Nani, could you not shoot? Hi, Grandma. You good? good. You're making your grandma do a lot of work. So, guys, uh, we have finished washing. Now we need to rinse. Let me pour this water. Just like that. And I have some water here. So, I'm going to put it like this. So, guys, I'm simply going to rinse these utensils, then keep them here to dry. We keep them here to dry. Just so easy, easy peasy. I'm not Guys, as you can see, this is where the ones have like done washing. I clean them up. I put these uh, some the scrubber and the soap. Put them here. Easy, very simple life, and it's really like modified. Like Africans are so creative. As you can see, put this like a bottle or a plastic bottle. Then they have put it with a nail, and it's perfect. As you can see, and this is also perfect. And look here, like this platform, it's very creative. Africans are just so creative, honestly. So, guys, we'll be cooking lunch, and we need, like, later I'll cook lunch for everyone. And we need to fetch cooking, like, water for cooking. And yeah, I want to show you where we get our water. Come with me, guys. 
in African homes, they fetch water with the, with the pot. So guys, come with me as we go to fetch water from the borehole. There's a neighborhood borehole where we go for water. And yeah, come with me. So guys, we are going to get water from the neighborhood borehole. So come with me. When it's a village borehole, is it called a borehole or a well? So this is simply how they do it here. You take this, then you... I hope the water is getting in. Oh, it's not getting in. <laughs> this water is very clean for cooking and everything. That's enough. But that one is a more. So, guys, as you can see, my pot is full, and I need need to carry it back home now. Hmm? So, guys, we need to carry it the water back home. So this is how Africans carry water. That's the life of a, of a Ugandan girl or a Ugandan lady, especially the married ones. And guys, people are, are seeing me with this and they're just happy. They think I've gotten married. <laughs> they're like, now we need to send you to the shamba. Guys, me honestly, in conclusion, I, don't, I cannot get married to a Ugandan. Okay, never say never, but hey, from how I've seen it, I don't think I can get married here. One of the people that I, I won't... Okay, but never stay, never. But the Maasai, the Maasai and the Ugandan, oh God. <laughs> the women do a lot. Hey, I don't know if I'm scared of work, but hey, sometimes it looks like... I don't know how to say it. Anyways, guys, that's the life of a Ugandan. Ugandan. 
lady especially one who is married because one who is married is the one that wears the go messy i hope you enjoyed the video tell me what you think about it thank you so much guys for watching see you in the next video bye bye <laughs> I'm just here to entertain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Eh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>